and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yeti Fury. We're going to bring this meme tier Monday deck back. We played it a long time ago. We got a donation deck to try it again. It wasn't really that long ago, but it, it works pretty well, actually. Uh, it's a pretty cool deck. So basically what we have here is a Freljord Allegiance deck with Averroes and Outriders, where we're going to be trying to grant the top ally, ally of our deck, plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm, and give that to our Yetis. We can set up a combo with Averroes and Outriders and Averroes and Trapper, where we can put Averroes and Trapper, put the Enraged Yeti on top of the deck, and then, you know, like they just curve into each other. So you put the Enraged Yeti on top of your deck, and then you give it plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm, and now suddenly you have a one mana eight, eight Overwhelm. Very, very powerful combination. So we have that going on. Um, you know, we're going to be a Trundle Sejuani deck, two just really good champions, and two champions that love the plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm. And Sejuani already has Overwhelm, but, you know, it'll take the plus three, plus three. Trundle, of course, um, curving out. Like, if you ever get to curve out and play Avros and Outriders, and your top card is a Trundle, and so then you draw Trundle, and it's suddenly a 7-9 Overwhelm regeneration, you know, like that kind of stuff on turn five. That's pretty silly. Maybe you had an Omen Hawk before, and it's an 8-10. I mean, you can get some silly stuff in here. Uh, but then we also have Ancient Yeti. Another large overwhelm that we can can kind of play in the late game. So like basically turn five, turn six, turn seven, like those kind of turns, we're gonna try to like unload our hand, right? Like maybe by then, um, you know, we, you can play like a Trundle and like a one mana Ancient Yeti and then like a one mana Enraged Yeti and get all that out there. And then of course, with our Yetis, we need to finish games and we're gonna finish games quickly with Battle Fury, giving them plus eight, plus four with all this large overwhelm yetis should be pretty sweet a new card that we didn't have in here last time that we're trying is the tusk raider this is going to be um, an eight uh, mana card for trundle for trundle's behold claws and it also goes and finds a sejuani for us doubles the power and health of allies in our deck you know just gives us some late game against uh, control decks that are able to um, hold back our yetis Splashing Demacia just a little bit for the single combats. Get some good quality removal in here for our Freljord cards. All right, so that's our deck. Let's go play five games in normal because it's meme tier Monday today. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, isn't that that's just such a that's such a great combination of. All right, we'll put put the Enraged Yeti on top, and now we'll give it plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm. And it also has you hit your allegiance, because, you know, it's a failure card. So it just all works out. So it looks like we're playing against a burn deck. We're going to keep all these. Single combat. You know, maybe I don't necessarily need, but I like, um, you know, definitely like Kindly Tavern Keeper in this matchup. I like Ruthless Raider blocking and like Elixir of Iron to protect Ruthless Raider. This land is ours. This land is our land. I'll take everything. Hey, uh, Putra, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Fight or die. Could have also just taken that Arachnoid Sentry hit and then used Kindly Tavern Keeper to, you know, played Kindly Tavern. Yeah, played Kindly Tavern Keeper on this turn to heal my Nexus for that three. Again. I must get out of here. I'll take the two. Play a trapper. Get an enraged yeti over here. What's that noise? I follow you anywhere. I know just the place. No reason to use single combat yet. The trolls are going to war. Bind them. Bind them. Whoa. Hmm. So they want me to attack with Trundle. So they want to block with Hapless Aristocrat. I 
I don't know. Maybe I should just attack and let them block with Hapless Aristocrat. You know, definitely thinking that, that they would get another spider at that point. Do they have double? Okay, they do not. I'll take everything. I don't expect Brothers Bond. I think that they just want these things to die for Elise, to level up Elise. Uh, I'll let that happen. My true beauty. Is beneath the skin. Yeah, great troll chant. Helps helps my single combat. Okay, I'll take that. So why are they doing Frenzy Skitter on this turn? Oh, this thing's a spider? That thing is a spider. Okay. So I was gonna fight. And I think that we were gonna win that. My day's going good. Yeah, I always love Meme Tier Monday. We get to play a bunch of fun decks. That's what we're doing here. And we are just smashing with Yetis. So no, no complaints there. I don't want them to have like the challengers with all their stuff. I don't want like their Vile, Fall, Vile Maw challenging my Trundle and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to keep Ruthless Raider, we're keeping Ancient Yeti, and we're keeping Single Combat to fight here. So we're keeping those three. It's basically, do I want to keep Trundle or not? And Trundle's like one of the best cards in the game, so I guess we do. Um, hopefully we find cards that cost three or less mana. Ancient Yeti will be a four drop. See? Okay, there we go. Because we can play Ancient Yeti on turn four by the time uh, it will get there. So now we have a two and a three. Yeah, yep, Tom Kench Lux, they should be playing Unyielding Spirit in here. This land is ours. Remembrance, all that kind of stuff. We played we played Tom Kench Lux yesterday on Rank Up Sunday. I like Tom Kench Lux. Get bloody, get paid. That's a good hired gun. I did not have Hired Gun in my version. So while I can Elixir of Iron and save my Ruthless Raider, the Ruthless Raider vulnerable is not going away. That thing's going to be vulnerable all the time. So I'm just going to let it die, and I'm going to save Elixir of Iron to help these things later. They're out there. I'll spot them. The Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. I think you're exaggerating there a little bit, bud. Maybe like two foes if you're lucky. Ten? I mean, come on. All right, let's mess some folks up. I suppose. Ready the torches. Yeah, right? The Yeah, the Vanguard Sergeant, that does have... Yeah, whoever the voice actor is for that has a really good voice. We march. Yeah, they have a good voice. My time has come. King of Trolls coming through! Also, that Trundle one. 
I'll try to do that other one. Um, uh, gosh, I <laughs> I can't do that. Um, so is it a Demacia soldier is worth ten foes? Um, a Demacia soldier is worth ten foes. Probably setting up Radiant Guardiana. If they want to play Radiant Guardian here, they're going to not kill my 5-2. Obviously, I can save the 5-2. I have these things. I don't want to use them, though. I <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> Every time you see Vanguard Sergeant, think Black Panther. Man, poor Chadwick Bossman. He's such a great actor. Alright, just pass it on over to me, eh? Pass it to me. Where we're at, one out of five? Yeah, he's a really nice person, too. It's terrible. I guess I just take the pass, I guess. Carved from the savage cold. Propagating quite the appetite. Quite the appetite. I'll knock dead. All right, let's see what they got. Wow, yeah, that's that's great. Okay, how do we want to do this? I guess we control chant there and elixir of iron here. That should work out. All right, so they're down to seven, and our Sejuani's at two. A plenty. So Tom Catch is still pretty good. You know, like this is not necessarily going to be easy, but we're looking at solid. All right, GGs. Oops, did I break something? I think it's best to use yeah, so I wanted to use the single combat in response to you know, whatever they were gonna whatever they're gonna do, like barrier, unyielding spirit, that kind of stuff, and um and just use the, the Fury of the North, basically by by casting the Fury of the North out we basically turned it into a single combat. Soraka Thresh? I don't think I've played against a Soraka Thresh deck before. Uh, do I keep both Ruthless Raiders? I guess so. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Not sure exactly what's going on over here, but it's pretty cool. Leave nothing standing. Oh, yes. she does all business. Hmm. Fight or die. Alright, so good aggro shadow isle stuff, so why? Soraka and Star Shepherd question mark. I'll take everything. <laughs> Many tribes, one Freljord. How did you get to know so much about Unfortunately, our trundle was one card too early, right? If it was one card later, if that was the trundle. Oh no, it was Omenhawk, the worst card to hit. 
Uh, we were just one card later. King of Trolls coming through. If those two cards were to switch, then Trondol would have had the plus three, plus three overwhelm to start with. Would have been eight power right here. I don't think I attack in. <laughs> yeah. Owen Hawk's going to the gym. Okay, so they are a go hard your own thing and then Star Spring deck. That's some try hard stuff right there. That's so why you gotta love Meme Tier Monday. You get to just see some crazy stuff. <laughs> you get to see some crazy stuff. Alright, unfortunately it's turn 7. Ooh. Never mind, said one e Which one of these two do I want to challenge? Pain is this one. It's possible they have another go hard. We're all family here. Of course, we have the. This gives this gives us the five overwhelm damage from the Omen Hawk. All right, GGS. Three now. Yes, Annie, um, you can just put your code here in the chat and I'll save it and no guarantees that I'll play it. Um, you know, it's possible that I will, but not necessarily. But then also, yeah, if you just if you just watch the stream a lot, if you're just you know here having the stream on and everything, um, if you have ten thousand of the channel points then then that's the donation deck and that's what that's what most people do for donation decks is use 10,000 channel points all right our opener looks pretty good we're gonna keep two drop three drop we're gonna keep these ancient yetis to be able to double spell later this looks like this could be a tough matchup who knows you know like just a bunch of dragons it should be a good one dragons versus yetis should be a fun fun game Perfect timing on that Avarosan Sentry. It's worked out so far. Our ancestors are watching. Uh, you know they're they're not happy about that of having to just to throw down Vanguard Redeemer without getting anything extra from that. I'm gonna just attack. Stand strong. That's alright. So I know like 4 mana 5 5 Overwhelm is like probably good to play before combat on turn 4. They're out there. I'll spot them. I'm gonna try to be able to like, you know, play a bunch of these in one turn, kind of thing. Used Firebrand. Okay. Draw a card. Light the signal fires. My favorite champion. Um, I like both Teemo and Katarina. They're probably two of my favorite champions. Those are both very fun cards to play. I think I just skip block. I'm considering blocking with Avarosan Sentry. Uh, 
Uh, I'm one short of going Ancient Yeti and having Battle Fury available. And also one short of going Ancient Yeti, Ancient Yeti. It could be a Hush deck. They can't be a Frostbite deck. Concerted Strike would still kill, you know, like I could go Battle Fury here. Concerted Strike would still kill that. That's what considering, like, op yeah, Open Attack, Battle Fury on like a 5 5, but they go Concerted Strike. Yeah, play this one. Spell shield's really annoying. <laughs> oh, because that thing grows. Right, the fury has that thing grow. I just wasted that troll champ for no reason. Be fine. Let's got some battle furies. One card to play. Furious Averroes and Sentry. Now I got one more Battle Fury for this turn. But we don't need it. GG's. Alright, we 4 0. We're heading on over to Ranked. We are 4 0 with our meme tier deck. So that means we're gonna try to get some get some LP. We don't have any. Alright, playing against Discard Burn. This may be a tough one. Let's see what we got. Alright, I like Tavern Keeper. Outriders is, you know, like, really good racing card. I can keep one troll chant to help keep things alive. I would love to draw Omen Hawk. That's actually the worst card to draw. I would like to have Omen Hawk. Good news is they do not have the attack token turn one, turn three. That's a big deal. You know, they don't get to drave an attack. Um, I think we set the trap and go Outriders next. Okay, or we just draw one mana 5-5 five, five and go that and Tavern Keeper. Now we're cooking. I told you! The heart's as big as his biceps, it's the seed! Hmm. Flame Chompers is good. So bit. Over there. Uh, let's see. Tread carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Oh. All right, back to seven. This is gonna be tough. They had a, a you know quite a good hand 
Urchin, Battlecaster, Draven, crowd favorite, plus zero two challenger. So this is not going to be easy. So yeah, we have Ancient Yeti plus Ruthless Raider as an option here, or Outriders if we want to have Battle Fury next turn. Um, I agree, I think I probably have to go with the two, the two units. This land is ours. Hmm. So I need to cast like Battle Fury next turn and try to kill them next turn, I think. If if I play like Outriders and Sentry and Elixir of Iron, then I do not get Battle Fury. So that probably means that I'm not playing Aperos and Sentry. Hopefully we have something super, super cheap. Get the plus three, plus three and overwhelm like a Omen Hawk. Yeah, hopefully it's Omen Hawk. All right, no attacks with the Jinx. Love those things block what they have to. Let's talk about your death. Over there. So this puts me to two. So I think we make it four. And it doesn't. It doesn't matter which one I, I elixir of iron. It's Still just makes it four and it's still them dying. All right, so down to three. So God, hope that's not get excited. Um, let's see. Not play that and battle fury but still six plus eight is 14 we're one damage off if they block oh one damage off Leave nothing standing. and it it's not like i can wait and see maybe they don't block and then i battle fury because if i if i wait and if i do that if i say maybe they don't block and, and then i battle fury i mean i don't get priority again right like it just does nine damage to them man we are so does it make sense to play Trundle first instead of going for Battle Fury? Because, I mean, this doesn't kill them. Dang. You're so close. I mean, open Battle Fury just doesn't, just doesn't kill them. Okay, they just had two Get Excited in the end. Yeah, so I was going to play Sentry and Trundle instead. I'm not a loser. You're the loser. Yeah, that just is a gray hand, right? I mean, that's that's what happened all Rank Up Sunday yesterday. We were getting high rolled all over the place. But, um, you know, they had the, the Urchin and then, you know, so they had one drop and then the that great two drop and then Draven and then Crowd Favorite plus a Challenger on turn four. Um, and then, you know, turn five, another, another, um, crowd favorite. Turn six, a jinx. And then multiple get excited's left in hand. <laughs> we did the best we could, but, but you basically, you could see how, how close we were to winning that still, even through all of that. Um, and us not playing, you know, we didn't play a one drop or a two drop, right? No, yeah, so we had no one drop, no two drop, and we still came that close to winning. Basically, like, these Yetis with Battle Fury, they can really turn the race around super quick. They're, you know, very big, um, and you can get them out very fast. Hey, Fufa Live, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. That is our second sub of the day. I forgot Agent Iowa resubbed at the very, very beginning of the stream, and I forgot to put that up. So we're at two out of five. Um, so there we go. That's that's Yeti Fury though. This is a, a pretty good deck, and we saw like it it held its own over there in ranked. I think you can hold your own over there for sure, and it's a fun one to play. And you get to uh, just play big 
Yetis and Smash. So if that's something you like doing, playing some Furious Yetis and a Smash and try this deck out, Yeti Fury, pretty good. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Yeti Fury, and I'll see you for the next video.